all right so we're going to move on uh, to change management right change management is very key in any environment that we're in because it's very easy to overlook the steps that are needed to ensure that a, that a change um, that has been implemented is done in the right way right um, before a change um, can get to the level when it's being pushed to production there are various steps that are taken right one is to make sure that that change is requested right when the change is requested somebody has to review that change to ensure that that request is a valid request right because anyone can just go into the service now take a system or a remedy or whatever ticketing system Jira that your company will be using and say hey I want to request that you know the 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 software that I use to you know do my pay stop you know adds more money you know than what I'm already supposed to have right anybody can do crazy things I'm sure you guys had about the the issue with, in Volkswagen you know a few years ago where users in the companies were opening up opening accounts and paying themselves off right that environment was based on a lack of appropriate SOD implementation, right? And that was why those users were able to do that. So to ensure that users are not able to do such things that are going to make the, the environment or the company um, run into financial loss, SOD must be implemented in each control that we're testing. Right, access management, change management, IT operation, job processing, UAR, whatever it is, that mindset of making sure that not just one person has the capability to do multiple things that will be toxic is very, very necessary.